Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Infocom 2018. We're here on the NEC Display Solutions stands with none other than the president and CEO of NEC Display Solutions, Todd. Yeah, good morning, Adrian. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, thank you. So we have Todd Bowman uh, to thank us for everything we've been doing the last couple of days. You've got a great stand here. It's been absolutely packed yes. every day. Very busy. Uh, I don't know what the real numbers for the show are going to be. It's going to be upwards of 44,000, I think. I wouldn't doubt it. Uh, it's been, as you said, packed. Uh, the audience uh, in attendance uh, throughout the entire day yesterday mm -hmm. was uh, was phenomenal, yep. right up to the close. Yep. I don't think they've given numbers away from yesterday. The Central yeah. Hall has been busier than the North Hall. Now, what we liked about your stand, lots of space. I love the fact that we keep getting all these multicolored people come around on tours. <laughs> yes. So we've had CTI and AVI, AVI right. SPL, and everybody seems to be wearing a different colored polo shirt. Yes. We, so we try a, to color coordinate people. It's a swarm of color. And <laughs> yeah. did I notice today the NEC people changed color of polo shirts as well? They did. I believe they did change colors as well, it's just to keep things lively okay. and uh, a change of scenery. Right. Well, that's good. Well, yeah. AV Fashion has been trending on uh, Twitter. Yeah. Hashtag AV Fashion. Yes. And I think it's, it's something about it in Vegas, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. So. Maybe. And you're very fast. Thank today. you very much. Well, yes. I, I always wear the same thing in the summer. It's my, it's my, it's my <laughs> nice summer and cool. Yeah. Sure. So tell us a little bit about this global program then, yeah. because we've, we've noticed <clears throat> continually uh, NEC exhibition stands, mm -hmm. both the IFC in Amsterdam right. and in Las Vegas. You have all your major global people here. Yes. But you've had a very important Japanese guy here this week yes, as well, we, haven't you? Yes, we, we did. Uh, we had kumagai son who's the head of our uh, global business unit, mm -hmm. the division that we are part of. Uh, it was his first time to uh, visit uh, Infocom wow. and to see the solutions oh, yeah. uh, that we represent okay. here. So was, uh, he may have been a bit overwhelmed. Uh, he was overwhelmed. <laughs> he was uh, very surprised, uh, oh, yeah. overwhelmed as well. But it also speaks to our uh, global presence in the marketplace right. and the importance of uh, global business uh, to NEC, to our partners, and okay. to our customers. And Nakatani San is here as well. Nakatani San is here as well. Yep. Uh, also, uh, obviously, uh, uh, the head of our uh, display division mm -hmm. uh, and uh, representing all the great technology we have here today with right. his. Uh, uh, and all your employees. European colleagues as well. The European colleagues are here, also Bernd Eberhardt and his team, yep. uh, again representing the, the global efforts mm -hmm. that we have uh, now, across the, the world. The stand hasn't changed that much from last year, I think, I don't, from, well, two years ago when you were here, because yeah. the not changed. What's the big things that you're displaying? Projectors are probably still back on track, aren't they, really? Yeah, the yeah absolutely. Projectors are very popular, you know, as the uh, clarity 4K mm -hmm. obviously being very big. Uh, laser and the refinement and the yep. laser technology, uh, just getting great uh, brightness out of uh, projectors than what we had seen before, and then obviously the uh, you know image mapping and edge right. blending. As you've got some popular. great demonstrations of the retail in stuff the retail. with the little shoes. Yes, I yes. guess the basketball shoes are nothing to do with the NBA finals. No, they they, at the they don't. Although uh, yes, uh, coincidentally strategic, <laughs> uh, but very, uh, very popular as well. I can imagine. Yeah. Uh, LED as well. LED also. We have very two large uh, direct view LED boards yep. that uh, face our booth. Right. Uh, also very popular, uh, lots of discussions uh, with customers mm -hmm. as they look at how to do different types of things uh, right. with walls and, yeah. and different technology. Of course, the big news when we last spoke to you on camera in Amsterdam was that uh, NEC, one of the NEC groups had acquired Esquadra as an correct. LED supplier. Correct, correct. So. so this is the growing... Uh, movement into the market yep. with the Esquadrat uh, business, yep. now the NEC branded uh, direct view LED mm -hmm. panels. Uh, we continue to expand on our portfolio there right. and uh, in our approach to market as well. And one of the things that's, I think generally, it's not, I can't just blow smoke up your what's it, yeah. because it's generally across the show, the content's getting much better everywhere. And it you, is. You've, you've kept up with it. Some of the stuff you've got on display, we've been sitting here for two days and people have been constantly taking shots of all the video yeah, stuff that yeah. you've been playing. You know, and content is critical, and that's what we really uh, help our partners and our mm -hmm. customers with as well. You invest into the technology. Yep. Uh, content is what makes the technology shine. So right. we illustrate it here in our booth, but also to help our customers and partners understand uh, the importance of the content right. in their environment. Okay. We've also heard rumors, you may not be able to answer this on camera, but I'll ask you a tricky question because sure. I know you so well. Sure. But there's been rumors of some of the stuff you've been showing behind the scenes. Yes. Rumors of something maybe with analytics and big data and What's it? Is there anything you can shed the light sure, on? Sure, sure. And we, we do have a, uh, a prototype demonstration okay. of our analytic platform okay. that is here in the booth today. Right. Uh, and it's beyond just the uh, traditional uh, data detection of demographics. Uh, it is now going into a much more dynamic environment where we can take environmental information, analyze that information, and provide relevant content uh, to those that may be looking and viewing the display to capture their interest with information that they're most appealing to. Right. Yeah. Now we mentioned that you guys are pretty global these days, I mean majorly global. Sure. 
internationally you cover the bases with the, both all the different shows you do but there's right. been a tremendous international attendance at this event as well hasn't there, there? has and I think in Infocom uh, in general it sure feels that the presence uh, from an international attendance has increased mm. uh, certainly in our booth we have seen that as well and it, it speaks to our global initiatives and so. program as well yeah. it might be just be a local thing on your booth but I think yeah. generally there's lots of international I would agree yeah. I would agree with Good. that okay Todd thanks for taking some time out and yes. seeing us you bet thank you Adrian